I'm Evangelist Valerie Spivey Danzy. And I'm Elder Mark Danzy. And we'd like to invite you to listen to Marvell Ministries. Good day and welcome to Marvell Ministries. It is a pleasure to be in 2023. We are embarking on just a wonderful new year. And I'm saying it that way because that's what I believe it's going to be. A wonderful new year. And we are back. Now, we took last year off. I think the last time we were on was probably in February or something like that. We didn't mean to do that, but <laughs> it happened. And so now we're going to move on. So this year we're going to be here again. We're going to be talking about the Word of God. We're going to be talking about things that pertain to our families and our relationships and just a lot of things that we want to hear also you know, from you. Um, on the Spotify um, app, if you're on that, there's going to be a question that asks you about what type of issues in the faith-based community that you're interested in talking about. And then we'll talk about those things and we're going to just kind of break into a really good conversation. Speaking those things that be not as though they were. I'm Valerie Spivey Danzy and this is my husband. Elder Mark Danzy. It's Elder Mark Danzy. Absolutely. And we're just grateful at this point that you are here with us and that you're listening to what we have to say. Uh, we love God and we love you too. And so tonight we're just going to just do a little bit. We're, gonna, we're not going to talk a long, long time. We're going to do a little bit and talk about something that we've kind of been talking about amongst ourselves. Come on, let, I'm going to let you say it. I'm the facilitator. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> and and we're, we're so thankful to be back with you guys. Yeah. God has done some amazing things he has. in the past year. Uh, of course, we just want to say that we're so grateful for those of you who are watching and who are interested in what's going on with Marvel Ministries. Right. Uh, we've had a lot of good comments and we know that people yeah. are watching our content. But as Valerie said, what we want to do is we want to know what questions you have mm -hmm. about scripture, about life in general, about how to make the word of God relevant exactly. in your lives. How is it relevant? What can we do to take the word of God that we hear preached every Sunday, every Wednesday night, right. or whenever you have an opportunity to worship? How do we take those things right. and make them relevant in our day-to-day -day lives? You know, we think that the Bible is not something that we um, can use every day. Some people really think that that's just like a book of history, and it is. It, but it's not just a book of history. It's a book of how to live your life. And if you understand how to apply it, it's just like a medicine. And when you apply that medicine to your life, you're able to be healed. You're able to be set free. You're Absolutely. able to be delivered yeah. from those things that plague you. So it is important for all of us to understand how to apply the word of God in our lives so that we can be. Yeah. That's that's exactly right. I mean, uh, what good is a medicine that, that you can't take on a daily basis uh, if it doesn't work? Exactly. It has to work. It has to do something from the inside out. And that's what the word of God does. It, does. it works from the inside out. Jesus yeah. himself said that uh, it's not what goes into the man that defileth him, but that which cometh out. So we want you to understand that we're here to help you with those exactly. things that, that, that come out of you. Exactly. And what should actually be coming out of you. Now, let me just say this. It's very important that you understand that we're not trying to uh, get into any arguments about no. reformations or about no, the Bible no. or this or that. Here's, here's the bottom line. I have seen too many times you can look on any social media platform and you can see people of faith going back and forth with each other, sure. going back and forth, pointing out names and calling out other folks and saying this one is a false prophet, that one. Look, that that's not... We're, that's not us. We're not going to have that. No, 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 no. Okay. Because um, one, for one thing, that's not our place. Absolutely. That's not our place. And the second mm -hmm. place, it's not of God. It is not of God. Uh, yeah. So why would we do something that's not of God? It's not of God. Doesn't make sense. Yeah. Because what we should be doing mm -hmm. is what we can all agree on. Mm -hmm. And that is that Jesus Christ 
and him crucified yes. and raise again on the third day. And how do we make his resurrection relevant sure. to our lives? Sure. That's what we need sure. to be concerned with. Mm-hmm. And how does the infilling of the Holy Ghost bless us so that every day we have access to the word of God, which is the person of Jesus Christ? Sure. How do we use that to, to make our lives more relevant, make our lives Better. more full? Oh. How we Jesus said, behold, I leave with you peace. Mm-hmm. And then he said, my, my peace, peace, that your <laughs> joy might be fulfilled. So we want you to be joyful. We want you to, right. if, if, if you're having issues, no matter what the issues are, mm-hmm. uh, look, mm-hmm. we're, we're not afraid to talk about no. the issues that are relevant to human beings. Jesus answered the needs of the people. Sure. He also talked to them about the kingdom of God, mm-hmm. but we have to do it as the kingdom of God would do it. So we're going to take the word to make it relevant to your everyday sure. human lives. Right. So that's what we want to do. So if you have questions, if you have concerns, uh, just that's because we're going to talk about what the, what the scripture actually says. It does not matter. Hear me now and hear me clearly. It does not matter what your reformation teaches. No. No, what it is, what your reformation is. It doesn't, it it's, doesn't about, it's about what the Bible says. It's about what the Bible says. Because we believe in our we, we believe that our denomination is the best way <laughs> yeah. to get to where we're trying to go. Sure. But we're not gonna um, dog you about yours. Right. And we just need you to know what the Bible says. Absolutely, because Jesus said, if you believe on me mm-hmm. as the scripture, scripture has, has said, said, out of your belly will shall flow, flow rivers of living water. And so that's the ultimate sure. Uh, uh, the ultimate decision maker for how we live and how our lives are relevant Mm -hmm. is actually what the word of God says. Mm -hmm. Uh, Not what we think it says, but what it actually says. Right. And yeah, and it takes a little bit of, um, of, of sometimes going to read, reading before the scripture starts. Absolutely. Reading on after the scripture ends so that you will know really what the context of these is. You know, the hermeneutics, been, if you will. That, honey, uh, yeah, that's kind of inside yeah. because it, y'all won't know what yeah. we're talking about. Yeah. Darrell Marks, shout yeah, out. Yeah, shout out. But Darrell anyway. Marks, <laughs> yeah. But anyway. Yes, yeah. And so, yeah, so that's what we want to do. We want to, we want to uh, rightly divide the word of truth. Exactly. Uh, so, again, that it's relevant uh, to what we're doing in our lives it's today. It's got to be relevant. Uh, shout out to uh, Superintendent uh, Vaughn. Yeah, Donald yeah, Vaughn, Donald Vaughn, Vaughn, shout out. Shout out, shout, shout out. <laughs> <laughs> right, relevance, relevance right. Uh, to what we're doing exactly. now. Because exactly, Because everything that you'll hear people say is not relevant to how we live our lives today. on a daily basis. Mm-hmm. And it's time out for people coming to church, going home, and still not understanding what it is they need to do on a daily basis mm-hmm. to make their lives more joyful and more fulfilled. Right. And we, we, we're at a place now that going to church or, you know, well, going to church, period, as a habit is over. Yeah, it's I changed. I think pandemic completely. has really absolutely. just blown that out of the yes, water. We absolutely. don't go to church yeah. for the yeah. sake of going to church right. anymore right. because you can always pull it up and find out, you know, what your church is doing. And, and it's, that's a wonderful thing. Yeah. But at the same time, we, we've got to be able to um, get the full Monty. Yeah. Absolutely. Of it. Yeah, yeah. We need to be able to understand that we can go there and we can be a, a, a part of, especially if, you're, if your church is, you know, community uh, minded, you know, being a part of winning souls for Christ through missions and evangelism. We need that. Absolutely. Because, the, you know, that's the thing that the, the Bible tells us to do. We've got to go out into the world yeah. and preach the gospel. Mm-hmm. So it's important that now we have things that are relevant to the lives that we live right. today. Right. And, and our responsibility as Christians is to build the kingdom of God, is to teach the kingdom of God uh-huh. sure. uh, and, and to increase it one soul at a time. Mm-hmm. OK, we can we can go back and forth and back and forth about this scripture, about that scripture sure. and, and do all the eisegesis and the hermeneutics. We can do all of that mm-hmm. and still miss the soul. Exactly. And exactly. we've got to be more concerned with what does it take for this soul to be one for Christ. Hallelujah. And and that's that's exactly what we want to do. We want to win that's, souls. We the win Bible souls. says that 
He. Uh, he who wins souls <laughs> is wise. wise. And that means she too. Yep. We, we can do it. Yeah, that's that's not gender based. That is not a gender that's based. Position based. <laughs> exactly. That is not <laughs> right, about, right. about girls and boys. Right Absolutely. This has got none of that. None of that. So so we want you to be with us. We want you to join us mm-hmm. because we're gonna get into hopefully some very serious topics, but at the same time we're gonna be light. We have no problem with laughter uh, yeah. because the Bible also says that laughter doeth good like a medicine. And y'all gonna find. I love the word and I know the word, <laughs> but I ain't just wrapped tight every yeah, day. I'm we, not. Yeah. I'm not. I, I love the Lord and I love to laugh. And yeah. Absolutely. So we want, we want to be joyful <laughs> because look, there's nothing wrong no. with laughing and having a good time in Jesus mm-hmm. for, for far too long. We've heard what we can't do mm-hmm. uh, and what we shouldn't do. That's right. But That's it's right. time for us to learn what it is we can do. Because they, they left out the part that living for Jesus is literally fun. It's fun. Yeah. yeah. It's literally yeah. fun. It really is. Because, you know, you, you there are things that you just don't have to worry about. Absolutely. And Absolutely. so you are free to, if, if you understand, you know, him, it's, it's wonderful to be free in him. Sure. You know, and, you know, if you just go to church, they going to do something hysterical each week. <laughs> each week. Somebody going to come up <laughs> Absolutely. with something to enjoy. <laughs> and, 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 and we can tell you now that, you know, I think part of what we're going to be doing here going forward, we want to have some, some, some trivia questions that we're going to ask. Uh, and, and, and that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. We, we, we've, and I don't know if, it, if you guys have heard of this or have seen this, but there is even a Bible application for uh, your black card. I don't know if y'all know about this. Oh, uh, you're talking about black card yeah, for the Save and Sanctified yeah. Edition. You know that's what we are. Save and Sanctified Edition. We're going to have to pick up the Save and Sanctified the, sa- <laughs> the thing that you all in our, in the black church, that don't, that's yeah, not reformation. our church is different. <laughs> our church is different. But there's some things that we do, and, and it makes you laugh. And you can laugh. Yes. Uh, and when you laugh, the problems that you've been going through don't seem as serious. And right. so we want to bring all those kinds of sure. things to you. Uh, and at the same time, we want to talk a little bit about relationships. We want to talk a little bit about, sure. about I don't really like to talk about politics a lot, but from the standpoint that, that we do have a responsibility sure. to, to, to understand current events and what's going on in our communities. At least get the big picture. Don't At least get the know big something. picture. Yeah. We, it, look, who you, who you vote for and who you like, that's, that's really That's irrelevant. really a personal that's thing. The, yeah, so, but, yeah. It, you know, when I was growing up, they, they said that was, and of course, you know, with my profession, you talk about a lot of things, but you really shouldn't talk about religion and politics. But they yeah. know if you come into my shop, yeah, we we gonna probably yeah. talk about nothing Jesus. is off limits. Nothing is off limits. We wanna we wanna. But be the able thing to, is, whatever yeah. it is, you have to respect the other person's Absolutely. position. Absolutely. You may not agree with it, but you right. got to respect you it. Got to respect it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So these are the kinds of things that we're planning on bringing uh, mm-hmm. during Marvel Ministries mm-hmm. and and talking with uh, myself and with Valerie, and we just mm-hmm. want to have a great time, yes. and we want people to understand that what what you're concerned about. Watch this. It's what God is concerned about. Mm. He's concerned about the things that concern you. He said going to perfect that. Absolutely. That's what he going to do. Absolutely. Mm. And the good work that he has started in you, mm-hmm. he is able to perform it Ooh. until the day of Jesus Christ. The end. Amen. Amen. And so we thank you for being with us today. Like I said, we're not going to bother you long. Uh, and, and we're <laughs> going to endeavor to be timely with the uh, with the presentation and with the content that we give you. Right. Uh, and so go 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 to wherever you watch your podcast and get this information. If you've got questions, uh, Spotify, leave those for us. And we'll be glad to take a look at them exactly. and bring that content to you. And we're also going to uh, talk to you about some things that have been Troubling us and concerning us, as a matter of fact. We have those things, too. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. (laughs) So we love you. God bless you. And if you'll allow me just for a moment, let me just close with a prayer. Father, we thank you for those who may be watching now. We thank you for those who our content will reach. Father, we just thank you for Marvel Ministries. We thank you for your son, Jesus, and for the Holy Ghost, which guides us, leads us, and teaches us everything 
that Christ taught us before. We ask that you bless everyone that views this content. Bless them and give them everything that they need. Strengthen them, O oh God. Lift up every hung down head and let your joy and your peace rule and reign with them. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' Thank name. you, Lord. Thank God. Amen. Amen. And amen. We're glad to have you. Absolutely. Like and share. Like and share. We're going to be here. Until next time, <laughs> Marvel Ministries. Peace. <laughs> Thanks for joining Marvel Ministries.